Oh, Mo, does this feel like the biggest game of the season? Yeah, of course. Um, you know, massive game for both teams, uh, for where we are at the table right now. Um, you know, everyone knows what's on the line. Um, but just like any other game, we're focused on ourselves. We have the same mentality. We've uh, analysed their strengths and, um, yeah, it's just about what we can do on the day. Yeah, the last time you played the Mariners, um, was sort of midweek game. Teams were a bit tired and ended up being nil-nil. But considering what's at stake, do you think this game might open up a wee bit more? Do you think they'll, they'll be quite hungry to get the three points? Um, yeah, I'm not sure how the game would go, but, uh, like because of the circumstances and how everything is on the table right now. I feel like both teams are just going to throw everything um, to get the three points. It's important for both teams to win, so I think it'll be a very good game. And um, do you think you'll go to play there to get the win, or would you be happy with the point knowing that you'd still hold a lead with three games to go? Um, for us, three points is the most important thing. Um, we don't really think about, like, you know, just, you know, uh, being comfortable with this and like this and that but yeah for us we're focused on three points and um making the gap bigger but uh, a draw would help us as well so yeah we'll see what happens yeah and so this month you're observing ramadan at the moment can you sort of explain um yeah what, what sort of involved um yeah so ramadan goes for 30 days so i can't uh drink anything or eat anything from sunrise to sunset um towards the end of it now so yeah it's been going good um yeah it's just a, a month of uh of uh trying to get closer to god and uh, practices uh discipline patience and just remembering um those who don't have much and yeah being grateful for everything you have yeah because how do you balance that as a professional athlete where um yeah i guess things like yeah, food and, and drink. Um, I'm sure the physios and stuff yeah. would be yeah wanting you uh, to have lots of energy, and especially at this time of the season. So yeah, how do you sort of balance that as a professional? Um, first week is hard, um, but I think your body gets used to it after that. And um, for me, it's yeah, I don't really think about like uh, not eating and stuff like that. I just feel like I have that uh, spiritual energy. I feel like I'm doing something good, so I don't really think about the food. And then mentally, I'm I feel like I'm more switched on because I'm just. Um, focused on football and stuff like that. I'm not relying on other things, but yeah, so first week is hard, but after that it's smooth and like you feel good about what you're doing. And um, no Alex Rufa for this game, so how do you think that midfield battle is going to go um, and is there a bit of a loss not having him there? Yeah, of course, a massive loss, you know, Alex uh, is a, a captain and he's a, he's a leader for us and he's having a very good season, so it'll be a big miss for us, but Again, uh, it's happened throughout the season, so everyone just has to step up now and um, whoever is in that spot for that game uh, has to do a job. Just on that midfield battle, Mo, um, obviously Josh is, but Max Ballard have been playing well for the Mariners. They're, they're very much the engine room of that team. Do you specifically plan for what they'll bring ahead of this game on Saturday? Yeah, of course. They are good players. They're doing well. Um, obviously, Nisbet got a call up to Socceroos, so he's, he's doing very well as well. But... Again, you know, we're focused on ourselves and um, we know what they can bring to the table. But if we do our part, I feel like uh, that's the reason we're doing well. So, um, yeah, we're focused on ourselves and we'll see what happens. And you yourself, you've been involved in pretty much every game, uh, apart from I think you've missed one from injury. Uh, how's the season going from your point of view? How do you assess the way you're going? I feel like it's going good. Um, Obviously, as the team, uh, we're doing very well. We're coming first, um, and uh, we're focused on some silverware. So, but personally, I think I've uh, I've grown a lot throughout the season. I've improved a lot, and uh, now I just have to keep doing more and more, and just try and get better every day. Can you remember what your your aspirations were when you arrived, and whether you've whether you've met those aspirations so far? Uh, I feel like in some uh, some goals I have, but I feel like uh, there's still a lot more I can do. Um, I still want to improve my game and just trying to keep getting better and better. So, yeah, but I am grateful for the opportunity that the boss has given me. So, um, yeah, it's just about learning and trying to get better and better. You reckon that first goal's coming? Hopefully, yeah. <laughs> Should have came on the weekend, but I'll do better next time. And I know you're a Wellington player now, but playing against the Mariners, does your uh, your old Newcastle F3 derby kind of mentality kick in a bit? Are you even more you know, doubly determined to beat, yeah. beat the Mariners? Yeah, I've been versing the Mariners even back in the Wanderers days. I've been versing um, uh, Nisbet and Ballard, so I've always versed them, and I know what they can. I know their strengths and what they can do. Um, 
But yeah, the most important thing is three points, and uh, we're just focused on that. And when um, Chief, you know, did the sales pitch to come over to Wellington, did you ever expect the season to be as successful as it's been? Um, I don't know. I don't know to be honest because. Uh, Th these things just happened because uh, obviously when I first came I realised that it's a tight-knit group in the change room and everyone's friends with each other so that is a big factor in um, you know, uh, us being successful at the moment but uh, we're not there yet obviously, we have still have uh, four more games so we just have to keep going game by game and hopefully we can pick up a trophy at the end of the season.